Good morning. It is November 3rd, Friday. It is just 10.30-ish. I feel like we've been here before. <laughs> yeah, actually, Animal Kingdom is the least frequent visit park for us this trip. This is the second time we will be here. Um, but the weather is beautiful for an Animal Kingdom park. So we do have Genie Plus again today. We have a few rides lined up. And uh, let's get through security real quick. Morning, Jerry. Good morning. We got way through So never finished our intro. Uh, we're in line for It's Tough to Be a Bug, and we're gonna do probably this, go get something to eat, and then we have a pass to go see Mickey and Minnie and their safari stuff. We were originally going to have breakfast at Tucker House, Husker House, but we decided to cancel it. We just, we've been wanting to take it easy, sleep in, enjoy the morning, and so, we're gonna have an early lunch and then get on a few more rides. Yeti is actually closed right now. We do have a pass to get on anything except for uh, Flight of Passage because you have to pay for that, which we did. But hopefully that'll come up today. And if not, then we might have to come back and do it. Hi, Mickey. Can I stand right here and record? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hi, Minnie. We love you. Love you too. Okay. Yeah. Can I, at some point, yeah. pass this off to you. Just, all you have to do is just hold it, and we'll take. Well, it's recording. We'll just snapshot. Thank you. Thank you. We got it. Want me to come in there with you? Come on. <laughs> Scooch forward just a little. Perfect. They know where the spot is. Yeah. Big smiles right over here. One. Wait for the flash. Two. Oh, they have an idea. Yeah. Oh. We've been getting you in trouble. Yep. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> Alright, you guys look at me for a two, three. Alright, guys, thank you. Thank you, guys. We love you so much. So, we're a little all over the place this morning. I'm sorry, this vlog is not going to be as seamless as the other ones. But we are sitting right by the water and we're gonna do a mobile order for Flame Tree Barbecue. We just saw Mickey and Minnie and they're so far Yeah, that gear. was cute. That that was, was, yeah, that was nice. Adorable, we used a genie pot for that too, so we skipped the line. And yeah, like I said, we're gonna order lunch and then on our way to Pandora, Flight of Passage. Yep. Those ribs look good. 
All right, so Chris, what did you get? I got the uh, smoked chicken and rib uh, combo. And I got the pulled pork mac and cheese with slaw and onion rings. And then mine comes with um, coleslaw and baked beans. And the baked beans, look at that, the pork in there. Mm. I might have to put some on the mat. Mm -hmm. oh my baked God. beans are okay. This is good. Not bad. Try the coleslaw. Mm. Now that coleslaw is nice. That chicken's nice. It's got a good good smoke on it. Want the drum? Well, <laughs> fall off the bone tender. Doug and Russell just flew by on their pontoon. I'm too hungry right now to interact with characters. Alright, so I'm a little disappointed with the ribs right now. They seem to be a little... Top. <laughs> no, actually that's pretty good. It looks like you got three ribs. Yeah, you get three ribs. And like a quarter of a chicken? Yeah. And they gave me the breast, which I, I, I prefer the breast when it comes to like smoked meat. Now grilled chicken, I prefer thighs, but... I can't. Sorry, right, just... Mm. Pretty good. I like that. That's okay. I like them. I mean, they're not the best rib I've ever had, the, but... They're not like saucy at all. Mm -hmm. And there's really not that much flavor on them. There's really not even that much smoke flavor on them either. So... I give it like a 6 out of 10. Yeah, same. I like my Mac better. That mac and cheese is... And the pulled pork. The pulled pork's really nice. Amazing. Now, you can get chicken rib and pulled pork platter, but I don't have that much of an appetite. Mm -hmm. Though their pulled pork is nice. The thing you're licking good. It is cooked very well. Yeah, very, oh yeah, extremely well. And the noodles are like, um, they're like spirals. Like, what, what are those called? I don't know. They're not like normal mac and cheese noodles. Save me some. You're gonna have some of my chicken or no? Or you're just gonna eat that? Because if you're just gonna eat that, I'm just gonna eat mine then. surprising me I bought this I have actually I have this jacket in two different colors <gasps> that looks so good on you anyway now he is fixing to buy one you think it's okay that it's this big you want it to be bulky yeah we'll try a large on I, I, I have a large oh I have a large oh I think extra. Oh, that's why. That's a 3XL. Oh, yeah. That's way too big. This is extra large. Oh, yeah. That fits you. I actually kind of like the green on you. That's pretty nice, babe. They also have a dark blue one, too. I want the black because I can wear that with anything. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll keep our eye on the black, but now we know you're an extra large. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm surprised you don't look at this and go, I want that. I do want it, but I'm not paying $50 for them. Girl, you know how much I paid for the black one you wanted? <laughs> I know. That one is really cute though. And Christmas is coming up. Ugh, I know. Why don't I buy it for you? No, I can't, I can't let you buy me a $50 tumbler. I am. Again. No. 
Do you, are you gonna drink out of it? Of course I'm gonna drink out of it. Coming up, coming up, right? Yeah. I'm buying it for you, because I love you. <laughs> Thank you, honey. <laughs> unless, there's, unless you have your eye on a different one. The only other thing that I want to buy is that damn Christmas sweater that I can't find, and I'm gonna buy that for myself. I'm gonna buy this for you. Aww. So we had a little time to kill before Pandora, and we are shopping. And Mochi, our little girl, Daddy bought another spirit jersey for her. <laughs> and Chris is trying to get all the fuzzies off of his shirt because yeah, he put, tried on a spirit jersey I, jacket. I put on a spirit jersey jacket, and it was like fuzzy in the middle <laughs> or on the inside. I'm wearing a white shirt, and it just dumped all the fuzzies on me. But yeah, let me I show it's you. Much better now. Let me show you what we got. We got another spirit jersey for Mochi because my magic band, so you can see how it's themed. Also, my pen. So we got her a matching little spirit jersey. Adorable. How cute is that? She is spoiled. Ooh, the Christmas stuff is over there. I want to go over there to that shop. Let's do that. All right, let's go. Pandora, but you might also face some of its greatest challenges. Some of this flight might be intense, but trust your guide and be brave. As the Navi say during this important rite of passage, Sibak Hope, rise to the challenge. Good luck. How was your second flight of passage experience? Always, always a great one. That's just, you have to do that right. And you have to ask for the top row. The top row is the best. Though, though we got far left, mm -hmm. Samantha and I didn't really like it too much. Because you were like on the far edge of the screen. Yeah, I mean it's still amazing, but it was, I got, Slight motion sickness because of yeah. I think the screen uh, the screen is like curved slightly. Yes. So being that close to the screen was it's just different. But yes. Still, top row is the best. Highly recommend it. All you have to do is politely ask the cast member. Yep. Make sure you say please. Yep. And they will put you on the top, and it is the most beautiful experience. And that ride is just the smells and it's all your friends and. Um, the misting of the water oh, when you're flying through. The smells are just so much yeah. better than I ever remember. Yeah. I think sometimes it's like, you know, when rides are down, I think sometimes like that stuff's working better than other times. Yeah. But I enjoyed the fact that we got, so in the pre-show, that was the first time we were contaminated by like the parasites and they had to decontaminate us. Every mm -hmm. time I rode it before, that's never happened, so. Yeah. But yeah, love that ride. It was a little uh, a delay, but they like kick in different screens because of the delays. Yeah, but it was awesome. Love that ride. Yes. Some time later. Okay, so like I said, this is gonna be a little bit crazy of a vlog. Uh, we were at Animal Kingdom and I've been looking for this holiday sweater the entire time that Chris and I have been here. Speaking to a cast member, and she goes, Oh, they have a bunch of them at World of Disney. And I looked at Chris, and I was like, I definitely want to go. And he's like, No problem. And the absolute loving husband that I have after a flight of passage, he said, We can go. So we're here at World of Disney. Somebody's bringing me my size from the back. And I think we're going to stay here and find somewhere to hang out and drink. And then we will most likely go back into Animal Kingdom. Okay, so like I was saying, <laughs> a little bit of a crazy day. Uh, we were in Animal Kingdom. It is now 2 o'clock. We were in Animal Kingdom this morning and uh, between uh, Flame Tree Barbecue and Slate of Passage, we ran into a cast member because I saw this Christmas sweater that I've been looking for. Literally, I've been looking for it the whole entire trip. And you, if you know, you know, once there's something like a hot piece of merchandise, it it, it, it sells like hotcakes. Like it, you gotta find it and you gotta buy it right then and there. No hesitation. So um, I've been eyeing this holiday sweater, and we were talking to a cast member. They had an Animal Kingdom, 
But then, of course, they had like extra small and like three X's, and it was just way too big on me. I was trying to make it work, I just couldn't. So the cast member was so nice and was like, hey, it looks like they have tons of sizes at World of Disney. I looked at Chris and I was just like, definitely want to go. And he's like, okay, no problem. Not right now. And I was like, okay, that's fine. Um, which I had no problem about. I just, I wanted to get there before this evening because it's Friday night. There's also Run Disney, which is um, Disney Marathon this weekend. And today was the first one. So there's a lot of people on property. Christmas season just started. Christmas merch is out. So it's just a slew of things. So we went on Flight of Passage and my wonderful, wonderful husband looked at me and he goes, we can go to World of Disney. He's like, I know how bad you want this sweater. And so we, uh, I bought a lift. We went over here right then and there. It was starting to rain. I was like, oh my God, this is like trains, planes, and automobiles through the worst weather. Finally got to World of Disney. At first I didn't have my size on the rack. Talked to a cast member. She found my size. And then Chris bought a spirit jersey jacket as well in his size. So it all worked out. All is well in the world. And uh, let me put you guys down. I'll show you the infamous sweater. So it's a little, let me zip it up. It's a quarter zip and it's got Mickey skiing on it. Oh, here comes my husband. It has Pluto. Alcohol. <laughs> we need alcohol. I was just saying how my lovely husband took me to World of Disney and bought our sweater. And then Chris got a um, gray spirit jacket. Show it the camera. Okay, hold on. And Chris got this beautiful, I have this too. It has um, You have it in black and white though. Yes. And, oh I have the gray one too, so now we'll match. So it has the logo on the front. It's got a nice zip. And then I'm trying not to unfold it all the way because the cast member folded it really nice. Actually, I folded oh, both of these. Oh, you folded it. Well, you're gonna refold it. And then this is the back. So it has Walt, Walt, Disney, and then World on the sleeves. It, and it just, it looks so good on him too. So yeah. I'm like, you gotta get it. Here, I don't you wanna fold it back up, sorry. I um, I got your rim sh uh, A sugar? sugar yeah. <gasps> he knows me so well. So now I got a stra frozen strawberry margarita. Thank you, Lenny, so much. Here, let's put this up. So yeah, it's been a little crazy of a day, but we're finally settled. And I think we're gonna go back to pop. We're gonna drop off everything and then go back into the park. Yeah. Yeah? Cool. And then what did you get? I just got a highlight, my IPA. You've had a lot of those this trip. Well, I mean, yeah, it's high APB. It's cheap, it was a, it's a 11.50, I think. So the margarita in this was uh, like $29. That's not, ooh, this is really good. Is it? Yeah. Try it? Yeah. Hold on, let me get you a nice straw. I hate those. I mean, I know why they do the paper straws, but... Oh, wow. That's really nice. And we are... Sorry, my face is too big on the screen. We're at the Dockside Margarita Stand in Disney Springs. Beautiful so. view. Yeah. And I think there's live music. I think he's taking a break right now. Oh, yeah. But it's a wonderful Friday. Cheers, my love. Cheers. Do you tell them we're waiting for our uh, ornament? Yes, actually, no, you can tell them, and the timer's done. So you want me to go see if he's done? No, let's just finish our drinks. So Samantha and I have been looking for an ornament to get. We've been looking for a specific one, a wedding-themed one, but apparently they're sold out. Yeah. And they had some that were... They weren't really wedding theme, but they were definitely like, you know, Mickey, we, we have the one with Mickey and Minnie on the heart-shaped hot air balloon. Mm -hmm. They had Mickey, like, uh, in his 100th anniversary suit inside of a ring, but not like a engagement ring, just like a gold ring. Yeah. It was... And then they had another one that uh, I thought was pretty cool that you opened up and it had like this silver ring, engagement ring in the middle, but... So anyways... So we bought, a couple days ago, we bought uh, a clear Mickey head shaped ornament, right? 
that has Mickey and Minnie in the middle, remember? Yes, for the 2023. Yeah, we'll we got show that you guys that at some other time because they, they wrap it up. And then we got another one today, but a different kind. It's really cool, like Mickey head, where the bottom half is like, it looks like a shorts, but it's like glittered out. And then one of the ears, it says 2023. And so we have Jay, who's a cast member, customizing it with Just Married on the other ear. And the ornament itself was what? Uh, $30. $30, and then, since one of the ears is already customized with a date, that was a uh, five dollars. Yep. And then um, I think he said it was like five dollars per word or something like that. Yes. So thirty bucks for the ornament, an extra fifteen to get it customized. It's not the worst. No. So that way we we have it because every time we come here, we, no matter what time of the year it is, we always get an ornament. And this trip we got two. There's some really cool ones though. I could. I could spend so much money on some ornaments. That, that the Spider-Man one, like oh my god, yeah, yeah. There's there's some really neat ones, but you have to be selective because you'll end up spending 150 dollars in ornaments. And you know, Hallmark sells Disney ornaments too. They so, do. And I haven't looked online yet. And so we can maybe, look online. Maybe I'm pretty I could sure. find like a legit wedding one, but yeah. I'm glad that we're getting a customized one. Yeah, too. that's pretty neat. Yeah. So I think we're gonna enjoy these drinks. Mm -hmm. Let me have another sip. That was good. She always gets the really good drinks. I it's just get so this, good. the same thing because. I'm me, but <laughs> so with that being said, we'll see you soon. We'll show you the ornament and uh, we'll go from there. So you remember in the last <laughs> little bit where I was just like, you gotta be careful, you might spend $150 in the Christmas tree shop on ornaments. Yeah, we did that. Yeah. That's all good though, we love them all. They're really cool. Yes. We, I got a Spider-Man one where he's like, his mask is like halfway up, drinking coffee, like sitting down on a ledge. We got a Spaceship Earth one. Yes. No, no excuse me. Um, Space Mountain. Space Mountain one where like, the front half looks like Space Mountain. And then you turn around, it's like cut in half, and on the inside it's like astronauts and stuff. Yeah, it's really cool. Then we got our wedding one. Yes. And then we got another 2023 one. Yeah. So, so we're all ornament out. Yeah, we've spent... <laughs> we, we won't say. <laughs> we spent some money today. Yes. It's okay though, I mean, you know. It's like... You only live once, you can't take this shit with you. No, and it's second to last on our trip. Last day, second to last day. So, yeah, I'm sad. It's like buy everything now because we may not get the opportunity. Well, we've had, I've like held out on buying things because I knew yeah. we'd be here for so long. Yeah. But I didn't want to like spend my budget in the beginning and then go somewhere and be like, oh man, I really wanted that. We did like, really good and I, I did admit, really good. Yeah. I only, I think I bought, uh, Chris gave me a limit of 10 souvenirs. Don't let her, don't let her lie to you. No, that's what you said. And, no, I know, yeah, that was the rule. And I think I 10. bought six or five. I did not buy, I mean, I bought a lot, but I didn't buy that much, which is surprising. So, anyway, Springs is a little crowded right now, so we're going to make our way to the bus, go back to Pop, probably wait out a little bit of the sun, and then we definitely want to go back to Animal Kingdom. Yeah, I want to see Animal at night. Yes. Plus, we want to go to the Nomad Lounge. And do the safari at night, too. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Cool. Hello, welcome back. It is 
and we are going to head back into Animal Kingdom and do an evening at Animal Kingdom and then see where the evening takes us. We definitely want to get on Everest. Um, it is back up. We want to do a night safari and want to do Nomad Lounge. So those are the three priorities that we got going on. And yeah, it's, it's, it's a little warm right now, but once the sun goes down, we should have a great evening. And uh, just ready to continue our Animal Kingdom day. We had a little intermission. <laughs> outfit change. <laughs> a little outfit change, but we're ready to roll. And uh, don't really know which one we'll do first. Kind of depends on Lightning Lane and if Chris wants to ride first or drink first. So we'll, uh, we'll kind of chat about that drinking on the bus. right now, so uh, probably going to be feeling up to uh, riding first. Okay, well then I suggest maybe we do Yeti first. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, perfect. Well, there's the plan. with Mount Everest it was finally up after being down all day and there's a possibility that that might be our last ride because we're going to Nomad Lounge one yeah. of our must do's in Animal Kingdom we didn't do it last time so we want to do it now it's about 5 15 a little after and we're gonna have some hors d'oeuvres and, and some food. drinks the churros Oh yeah, those churros. Yes, are have fire. to get the churros. So we're gonna do that, and then I don't know. See where the night takes us. We're kind of like, you know, fluid right now. Like I said, I know we're chilling. I know this vlog is all over the place today, but that's because we're all over the place. <laughs> but that's the uh, joy of having park hopper and staying on property and just having flexibility. Anything to add at this point? I'm ready to eat and drink. <laughs> Me too. All right, I got a snow leopard, which is Grey Goose Vodka, Peach Liqueur, basically like a Moscow Mule, but with Peach Liqueur and Grey Goose. You can't see right now, but my legs are propped up on this uh, sofa. Um, having a great time. And I got a Lagunitas IPA. There you go. Cheers, baby. Cheers. Oh, can't, can't go wrong with that. It's like a minty ginger uh, Moscow meal. Basically. Mojito. Let me try. It's not a mojito. Though. No, it's not a mojito. But it has ginger beer in it, mint. So it's kind of like a cross. I do not like that. It's kind of like a cross between a, a mojito and a, and a Moscow mule, I would say. I can see that, yeah. yeah. It's very good. I, I am, enjoy it. I just I'm smack in paradise it. right now. This is, sorry. This is, uh, I could sit here all day long. Yeah, so we ordered some food, so mm. we're waiting for that to come. We got, I'll read it off to you all so you can see. Oh, never mind. It's here. Here's your Cuban Thank sliders. You're very welcome. Oh, yeah. So we got the Cuban Frida sliders. So uh, it's beef and pork patties, crispy shoestring potatoes with uh, yuca fries. This is like a Cuban um, sandwich that they do. So it's like a little. Uh, it's usually not with um, ground beef and pork patties. It's usually like, uh, actually yeah it is. It's, it's similar to that. But uh, I'm ready. 
They like toss them and like mo. Mm -hmm. You put the yuca fry on the slider. They're very tiny though. Like very tiny. And it was definitely like appetizer. And it was 16 bucks. It's extremely delicious, but would you say it's worth $16? I mean, I'm really hungry, <laughs> and we are in Disney, and you're not in frame, <laughs> so would I get this again? Probably not, because there's more to try, but I'm I mean, happy with it. I mean, yeah, I would get it again. It's delicious. It's just, they're really small. I've heard the impossible sliders are good here too. I'm not opposed to that type of stuff. I mean, think about how much food. But what did you say? That it's pork? It's beef and pork. Yeah, that's a little expensive. Beef and pork. And we, we paid for at certain quick services that same amount or less and have gotten more food. It's extremely delicious and I would get this again. So I guess, you know, whatever. Yeah. Now we're waiting on the. Uh, the uh, bread service. Yeah, the bread service. That sounds really good. And then we can see if we want to. Um, it is really good. My sister's not got it when we came here. We can see if we want anything after that. But I think it's probably stuff to eat at Riviera. Yeah. What time is The croque monsieur. Oh, yeah. That sandwich? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I guess we'll wait for the bread, get some churros, and then head over there. And so, yeah, it's that's a must do at Nomad. And then we're gonna take a bus over to the Riviera, hang out over there for a little bit, and then we're gonna skyline back to Pop. And we're not gonna have too late of a night because we have to kind of pack a little bit because we leave Sunday, which is kind of sad. It's finally our, our honeymoon is coming to an end, but it's been one hell of a honeymoon, it's been vacation, and just. And I'm so glad that we did our honeymoon right after our wedding because it, it just extended that feeling of celebration. Oh yeah. Because once Sunday hits, that'll be 19 days that we've been away at home and celebrating. You guys enjoying so far? Yeah, oh, it's thank delicious. You. Yes, thank you. Yeah, so 19 days Sunday. That's Really, that's how long we've been gone. More than half a month. <laughs> so it's just it's been amazing and it's been one hell of a whirlwind of a beautiful ride. And I wish we can relive the wedding again. Because it, it does go by so quick. I really didn't believe people. They're like, it goes by so fast. I it mean, does. The morning for me was really slow because I missed him and I was like, oh my god. Like, we were hardly ever apart. Yeah, I was kind of bored a little bit in the first half of the day. And then when pictures started, it was like, <laughs> it was. <laughs> Well, fast forward. I think part of the reason why it goes by so fast for the couple is because you you spend a good chunk of your time taking photos. At least like, we did. We were taking photos for about an hour and a half, mm -hmm. and then I had more photos to take of my groomsmen mm -hmm. in the cigar lounge. But it was beautiful. It was really nice, and the weather was perfect. Oh my god! Our and it's been perfect for the honeymoon. We have been blessed between the friends and family that were at the wedding and their love and support for us. And I never thought I would say this, but like, I enjoyed Disney for like two weeks. It's been amazing. And the way that Samantha has planned it out, I mean, you planned it out like, we had rest days, and it got to the point where I was like begging to come back to a park. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because if y'all know me, or if you watch these vlogs, if you're not friends or family, you know that I was never really a big Disney fan. Oh, we got bread, yes. Okay, so the sauces. We have the pear ginger chutney, coconut curry sauce, and a guava sauce right here. That sounds so good. And then on the bottom, we have the kazi queso, that's you know what I mean, cheese bread. Um, we have the cracker from India with uh, curry salt. 
and then we have a coconut milk bread from Thailand. Thank you so Thank much. You. This was wonderful. Yes. Okay, so this. I'm so excited. Bread service is legit. And I'm you can't hungry. really see the sauces, but they're 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 in here. Kind of see them. Oh, I'll see if I can like. Here's more Brazilian cheese bread. Oh, we got to compare how good it is from the one at Epcot. These chips are delightful. Oh, got a kick. They're very like light and airy, but still crispy. I like that. So this is a uh, ginger pear chutney. Mm. That kind of tastes like a mince pie. That Brazilian cheese bread is like identical to the one we had at Epcot. That might be my most favorite bread service I've like ever had. Really? Like outside of Disney too. Because it's, just, it's so unique flavors, right? It's not just your standard like yeast roll and sourdough and like pumpernickel bread with like honey butter and like pimento cheese. And... Which I still love all that. No, yeah, me too. But I just like it so much because it's well prepared. The bread's very soft and tender. The chips, just it's yeah. I think this is like. I can't name a better bread service. I told you. Good. I'm extremely happy right now. We got our churros. I also ordered another drink. And they changed the um. I'm a little disappointed in that, but then again, it'll be okay. It'll be something different. So the last time we came here, they came with basically their vanilla, like creme anglaise custard. They still have that. They still have that, and then, and then it was a chocolate. It was a chocolate. Like a, like a chocolate mocha type yeah. deal. So now it's a strawberry guava. I take that back. I'm not disappointed. It's going to be different. I was looking forward to the chocolate because you dip them in both and it tastes like a latte. But I'll let you go first and tell me how it is. The churros here are amazing. The best churros in the shop right now. Yeah. Try it in the guava. And then, and then the trick is you gotta then nice double dip. Okay. I want to get in here. Ooh. I'm gonna try the strawberry guava first. Ooh. I bet, I bet it's good. Mm. That is like the best churro ever. The reason why I like it so much is because it's crispy on the outside but really fluffy in the middle. And a lot of times when you go get churros, they're just like either fry too hard or like just the texture is just not right. Those are perfect. These are the best churros on property. If you want to get a churro, don't go to the churro stands. Don't go anywhere in Mag Magic Kingdom. Come to Nomad Lounge and get the churros here. Yeah. I'm going to say it. These are the best churros ever. Like, ever. I haven't had a better churro than this. Disney's crushing it with the food, I have to admit. You would think when you come to Disney and the food is just like, meh. I mean, the food's amazing here. If you know where to eat, you have to know where to eat. That's where it is. You have to know where the spots are. Yeah, you can't, you can't just willy-nilly just go anywhere you want. But so this is the best churro of my life. Next door there's Pizza Flory. Don't eat there. This is basic pizza. Go next door. Go yeah. to Nomad Lounge. For like the people who want to go to Epcot during Food and Wine Festival. Yeah. Go eat at, what, what's that place called? Creature Comforts? Or like... Connections Cafe. Yeah. They go eat like there and get like hamburgers and pizza. And salad and chicken milk. And I'm like, y'all are basic as hell. Live a little bit. Try some new shit. God damn. I love right now. I like the strawberry guava, but I crave that chocolate, like coffee sauce. I don't know. I think I kind of like this one better. Yeah. Well, so that, like, she likes this one. I like the the, the other one. Well, hurry up because I'm blinking red. So. All right. Cheers to y'all. So pretty much all done. Delicious as always.
consistent when it comes to quality and the sliders may be a little bit overpriced but the service was great. Everything came out really quick. I think our whole dining experience was like under 30 minutes so it was great. Awesome. Well, how was your Nomad lounge experience for the second time? Very great. I will have to be honest, right? Oh? You know, if you have a little bit extra money to spend, definitely go there. I feel it is a little overpriced. Yes, yeah, slightly. Um, but the food's phenomenal. Every time we've gone in, the food's been just consistent. I've never had point. any issues. The drinks are good. Yes. The service is great. Yep. The ambiance is absolutely amazing. Yep. I suggest to wait the extra bit of time and sit outside. Yes. Even if it's hot and they have fans in there and everything, it's very cool. Yeah. Um, so you have to ask yourself, you know, because the same amount of money that we spent there, we could have got way more food at some other places or, yeah. you know, spent maybe $20 or $30 more and did like a, one of the dining packages or whatever, the character dining or something like that. But it's one of those things you have to ask yourself, do I spend a bit more money and get a bit of an experience or, or not? But I'm, I'm always going to go back. I'm going to spend that extra cash and go hang out there. So. I like it. It's like yeah. the drinking spot. Yeah, it's great. All right, well now we're gonna go to another drinking spot. Yeah. The Riviera. So let's get on the bus. Cheers. <laughs> This is going to be amazing. The croque-monsieur. So it's basically a ham and cheese sandwich on thick white bread that's been toasted, and then they slather it with bechamel and more cheese and put it under a broiler. So we got fries and we also got tomato soup. I figured it'd be good to like dip the sandwich in the tomato soup. So. <laughs> you like it? Now I like it even messier. I've had this in places where they've also put a fried egg on top of it as well. Like served it as like a breakfast sandwich. Ugh. And the yolk is nice and ooey and gooey and you cut into it, but it's fine. It doesn't it doesn't need it. Mm. But it's tasty, right? Mm -hmm. Isn't that good? And tomato soup and grilled cheese, like, oh, yeah. match made in heaven. That's really good. Super good. A bunch of different times of the trip, but this is my favorite thing I've eaten so far. <laughs> Holy smokes. I'm just happy he's happy. I'm beyond happy. I'm exuberant. I know this is going to sound probably kind of weird but I really like hot food. And I like hot food. I don't like room temperature food. I don't like warm oh, food. Oh, like temperature wise. I like hot food and this is nice and hot. I think the sandwich was 12 or $13. And it came with a side. Uh-oh. What? I broke a little piece of the pork off in the sandwich. Oh, I gotta get it. Chris is trying to kill us. Hey guys, it's Editing Sam here. Unfortunately, we forgot to end the video. That's what happens when you spend two weeks in Disney. Your brain just kind of stops working towards the end. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. More videos are on its way. We do have one last video of this series, so stay tuned for our last Magic Kingdom day. And I hope you've been enjoying the series. And like I said, there's more to come. Thanks for the watch and have a great day. Thank mm -hmm. you.